That's what we saw on the way to school today. Time for lunch and a munch and a crunch. Here's a packed lunch that can really pack a punch. We're a lunch bunch! Ready? Go! We're having a party today because the programme's all about festivals! <laughs> <laughs> a festival is a special time when we get together to celebrate. That means we all have a good time. People dress up in their best clothes or maybe in fancy dress. Sometimes they give each other presents and there's special food to eat. Sarah's been finding out some more festive facts. Over to you, Sarah. Christmas is one of the biggest festivals I know. Do you know why we celebrate Christmas? Yeah, to celebrate Jesus' birthday. We celebrate Eid. It is an important day for Muslims. Diwali is a festival of light for Hindus. There are family festivals too, like um, when people get married. Don't forget birthdays. We all have one of those. Happy birthday, Daddy! <laughs> Whatever the date, every season brings a reason to celebrate. Summer, autumn, winter, spring, let's celebrate what the seasons bring. <laughs> These children are celebrating a festival called Basaki. Basaki is a Sikh festival. It happens on the 13th of April. Vasaki is the first day of the year for Sikhs. In India, Baisakhi is also the time when the first rice of the year is gathered. So it's a harvest festival as well as a New Year festival. And in this country, rice dishes are an important part of Baisakhi celebrations. And these children are going to help make a special rice dish now. Uh, we'll be making a sweet rice dish called Sarda. The yellow rice is a traditional rice we eat on Basaki. And the ingredients will be rice, almonds, cardamoms, and cloves, sugar, ghee, and food coloring. Kravinda heated the ghee with the cardamom and the cloves, while Pat heated up the yellow sugar water. Then they added the rice, almonds, and some sultanas. When the rice was cooked, they added the yellow water. They put on the lid and left it all to cook together for 20 minutes. And here it is, the finished Zada dish. Mm, it's delicious, isn't it? Uh, oh, quick, Yip, he'll be back in a minute. Yip, Yip, what are you up to? Ah! Uh, yeah. What's going on, Pip? Yip? <laughs> Uh, uh, nothing, Mr. F. Uh, why don't you introduce the next festival? <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Good idea. <laughs> Festivals make me want to sing. The next one comes at the start of spring. Today's a very busy day at our school. We're celebrating Chinese New Year. At New Year, we eat special food like this. This is the angal and it's the sweet pastry and it brings us good luck. This fruit is a jingji or kumkwa. It is a very special fruit and in Chinese its name means good luck. The colours red and gold are very important to Chinese people. We eat red apples, tangerines and melon seeds. Later on we're going to have a New Year's meal. But first, we're going to do a show for our families. This is the Chinese lion dance. The lion dance scares the monster away and brings good luck. The lion is not real. It's got two boys inside. Lion dances are a very important part of New Year.
sometimes we use chopsticks like this. Do you like some? He's eating the whole lot. Hey, quick, take this toy. Should we put icing on it? Yep. And should we write something on it? Yep. I say, you chaps. Yikes! Oh. Isn't it time to show the next festival? Yes, oh, good idea. Correct. Summer, autumn, winter, spring. Which festival will December bring? We're getting ready for Christmas. We made these biscuits to hang on the tree. We're making Christmas biscuits. And I'm making something called a Yule log, which is a very Christmassy sort of cake. Christmas happens when it's cold and days are short. Years ago, in the middle of winter, people would burn special logs on their fires. These were called Yule logs. Nowadays, we don't burn them, we eat them. And sometimes, we put candles on them to bring light at a time when it's cold and dark. We're making mince pies. We make mince pies with pastry and mince meat. It's not real meat, it's got fruit and spices in it. In the old days, people made mince pies to remind them of the place where baby Jesus was born. They made them in the shape of a manger, which is the place in the stable where the animals eat. And when they ate them, they remembered that first Christmas in Bethlehem. Food we eat at festive times often has a special meaning. Mince pies bring that crib to mind. A Yule log lights a winter's evening. Whatever the date, every season brings a reason to celebrate. Lucky red seeds and fruits of gold as the Chinese New Year follows the old. A meal at Basaki tastes very nice and it also gives thanks for the harvest of rice. Summer, autumn, winter, spring, let's celebrate what the seasons bring. Oh, Mr. Flask! don't know what to say. Well, get ready to say goodbye, Mr F. It's nearly the end of the programme. Yep. <laughs> Bye, Sarah. Thanks, Lunch Bunch. Happy birthday, Mr Flask. Thank you. See you soon. But before we go, here's a few festive greetings. From us, it's... Happy Christmas! Gong Xi Fa Tai! Xin Nian Kuai Le! Bye. Bye.